Forgiveness. How are you when it comes to forgiving yourself, previous mistakes you've made along your journey, and others? Are you able to forgive, forget, and move on? I sure hope so. But most importantly, I hope you are able to forgive yourself because it really is so freeing when you're able to let go of that shame, guilt, fear, anxiety that comes along with holding on to something that you just haven't been able to forgive and forget. So we'll talk a bit about that. And then we're going to talk a bit about our imagination. So are you one that has a robust imagination? Um, do you use your mind for creative thinking? I sure hope so. If you don't, we'll talk about some ways to do so and why it is so uh, powerful to use your imagination and how forgiveness and imagination tie hand in hand. Before we get started, I just want to thank all of you that are joining me daily for the messages that I deliver. I hope that they're resonating with you. I know sometimes they may or may not, and that is okay. The idea is to really pick what resonates with you, think on it, journal on it if you're a journaler like myself, and uh, just become better versions of, our, of ourselves daily. This whole soul journey, it's all about being the best versions of ourselves and kind of making our dreams come true, right? So here we go. The message. I know that my video is on manual, so I don't think it's going to focus. So I'll just read it. Uh, I forgive myself for past mistakes. No one is perfect. So yes, I hope you are able to forgive, forget. Um, I will say in my older days or previous days, I have always been a bit of a perfectionist and str strived for perfection. And as I've grown to love myself more, be more self-aware, I will say I'm letting that go and it is very refreshing because it's exhausting to strive for that perfection and it's so not needed. So with that being said, I'm going to kind of tell you a bit about what I journaled on this morning when I read this. And I am posting this a bit later today. I'm sorry, it's been a busy work day so I haven't been able to get my messages out. So here, here's what I found. The three words that I wrote down right away, judgment, condemn, and criticize. So are you your worst critic? Because if so, it can be very detrimental to your well-being and in your mindset. So I will say I, again, used to be very critical of myself and that comes with that perfectionism. Um, but the more that I can let that go and start to feed myself with positive words of affirmation and when I catch myself in a negative mindset, I can absolutely change it. And that's where that imagination comes in. So it's actually Einstein that said, your imagination, what is it? Um, oh, I can't remember exactly how he worded it, but something like this. And correct me if I'm wrong or if you know, comment below. But it was, imagination is greater than knowledge. And I know that he suggested if you want your kids to be smart, read them fairy tales. And if you want them to be extra smart, read them more fairy tales. So I love that idea. I know it's like fairy tales, really? But what it allows is us to think outside of the box and dream big. So not saying that, you know, the seven dwarves are going to be walking down my street or, you know, I'm going to, be going to eat a poison apple and my Prince Charming will appear. That's not quite the way we're going with this. But what it's allowing for is to dream big, kind of the impossible dream, and to be affirmative and positive. So if your imagination is on the negative side, well, of course that's, that's not what we're looking for. We're saying big imagination on the positive side. So we want to feed that um, imagination and kind of live with the end in mind. So, you know, if you think about in your past, maybe as a child, uh, there's something that you did and you're still holding resentment for it or you're still, you know, hard on yourself because of it. Well, kind of think about, well, where do I want to be and what do I want to do and how do I see myself? That's what you focus on and almost like assume that you're there right? So, so pretend the, the wish is fulfilled. And what that allows for is that it's going to be um, instructing your subconscious mind. And that's the big thing that I know I talk a lot about in my RTT video. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It talks about kind of the rules of the mind and how our minds work. And we're most always in our subconscious state. So that's what we're always picking up, you know, as a child, especially from zero to seven. Um, but 95 of the 95% of the time we are in our subconscious state versus our creative conscious state. And we want to get into that creative conscious state. That's where the mind is really in, in a fire, right? So you can train your subconscious mind though to be positive and to be affirmative. So that is the goal here. 
and um, especially right before you go to bed. So soon, in the next few days, I plan to create a video for you all to listen to before you go to bed. It'll be five to eight minutes of positive affirmative words. The more you can train your mind right before you go to bed to be in a positive state, um, the better you will you will be. So you'll find that you wake up much happier, your thoughts are always going to be better, and it's really getting you in that mindset of uh, positive affirmative thinking. So I will definitely go there. Um, I'm already up to five minutes, you guys. I don't know how I can be so wordy. So to wrap it up, I think one of the big things I pulled today um, when I was reflecting and reading my daily devotions was, it was called Recovery. It's a story about this girl that keeps focusing on her past, or the legend of the story is she wakes up finding these painful childhood memories that she keeps dwelling on, right? And um, it's talking about how she's gathering up these painful memories. She's been really holding on to them, dwelling on them, feeling guilt, shame, fear. And what she finally does is she allows this new key or this new door to open that releases all the fears from the past. And then she's able to really go within and recover from some of those lost pains and, and hurt. And that is why, you know, being able to forgive yourself for some of the past things that you've done that maybe you feel a little bit shameful or guilty for, um, it's a, it's a fresh start. It's a recovery, right? It's getting yourself into a different mindset. Um, and some of the questions that I want you to journal on or think about today, I wrote them down and I'll, and I'll post them in the comments below so you have them too. But here we go. So forgive, forgiveness, really. Um, give yourself the ability to be free of your past mistakes. So um, that can hold us back, right? So it puts us in a bad vibration. So here's your question. Is there a childhood pain that you haven't let go? Or are you living in a facade uh, because of it? Do you feel like you're kind of just, you know, almost, you know what it means to be in a facade, right? Um, I love that word. So if you can hopefully let go of some of the pain, um, and stop thinking about, you know, this is, this is my life. You just sometimes kind of keep pushing through and it's almost like you're living a fake life in a, in a weird way. Um, but yeah, so are you living in, in a facade because of it? What could you do to face your fears, forgive and recover to understand? Plus when you are able to do this, it leads to more of an awakening, leads to that self-love and self-actualization. Um, allow the inner peace to come your way on a daily basis. So Again, if you're in that mindset of negativity, stop your thought process right there and switch it. Um, and others will see that sense of peace that you have. And when you are in a peaceful state, you naturally attract others that are in a peaceful state as well. So in general, your life will just be more positive. So it sounds simple, and it is simple. <laughs> no, if you're struggling a bit more with it, that is why I'm here to help. I would love to converse with you. We can do a, a brief cons a consultation on some of the things that you're maybe wanting to work on. Um, and if you don't need that, you are so powerful, you probably can do it on your own. I know you can, but I'm here for you regardless, and I'm sending you all so much love, and I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous day. Until tomorrow. All right. Bye.